Microsoft OneDrive is one of the most popular cloud file storage services out there. It is free up to a point, and it is available on darn near every platform. So it's well worth getting it set up on Linux. Of course, there's not a native way to do it on Linux. It doesn't work automatically like it does in Windows, but there's a tool called rclone that you can use to get the same functionality that you have in Windows. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use rclone to get OneDrive working on your Linux file explorer. So let's take a look. The first thing we want to do is install our clone in Manjaro or Arch. It's just a package called our clone. You just do a sudo pacman minus s our clone. And that's that. In other distributions, just check your package manager or your software center it's available for everything as far as i know now we've got it installed we want to let's make this a little bit bigger we'll do an r clone config and there we go so what we're setting up is a remote drive so that's why it's using this language uh, we're going to say n for new remote Name can be whatever you want. I'm going to call it OneDrive, all lowercase. And then it will give you a list of services that you can mount with uh, Arclone. It is pretty handy, but this is what we're looking for. Microsoft OneDrive, it is number 22. So we'll just tell it number 22. Next, it's going to ask you about client ID and client secrets. We don't need either of those, so you can just press return. Uh, edit advanced config. We're not worried about that unless you know what you're doing and have a reason to. You can just do a no there. Uh, use auto config. Same thing here. Unless you have a reason not to, say yes. This is looking for your Linux password. And this is asking you to sign in to your Microsoft account. And that's all there is to that. That actually gives it the credentials it will need to mount this every time. So we've got success. We'll go back down here. And you see it's moved on because it got the code from that website that we just did. Uh, now in this one, we're just using OneDrive Personal. That's probably what you're using, but you'll know if it's not. So that's a one. And then you found OneDrive. Which one do you want to use? The one that it found, which is number zero. Is that okay? Yes, it is. And then it gives you this big old access token. Yes, this is okay. And then quit config. Now we want to create a folder on Linux where the OneDrive will be mounted. I would recommend just putting one right in your home directory. So that's what I'm doing. New folder, and I'm calling it OneDrive. Again, that can be whatever you want it to be. I'm keeping OneDrive. I'm keeping, keeping it lowercase. This stuff is case sensitive, so just keep that in mind. And then there's one more command here. Our clone dash dash VFS dash cache dash mode writes mount OneDrive. This is the name of the remote connection that we set up, which was all lowercase OneDrive and then colon, and then the path to the mount point that we created, which was my home directory slash OneDrive, also all lowercase. We'll press enter. And now if we go into OneDrive, that is it. You can see it's been mounted as a network drive, and it will stay mounted as long as that command is active. But obviously not, that's not the best way to do that because it's taking up a terminal window and if I exit out of that command, I lose my OneDrive mount. So what I'd recommend is adding this to your startup applications. So this will vary by uh, desktop environment, but you'll have something that looks like this, startup applications, and we'll just add a custom command. Actually, I'll call this mount one drive. That's just 
just for me to know what it is. And then I'll give it the command, which is sh run a shell c command. And then I'm going to paste in exactly what I wrote down before. I'm going to highlight you. I'm going to control shift c to copy. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to control v to paste and comment. This mounts the OneDrive share. You don't even have to put anything there. And I'm going to add. So now that will execute every time I log in. So I'm going to press this button to run it now. And you can see OneDrive appeared there and now we don't have that stalled out terminal window hanging back there. Now if I go into OneDrive, all of my stuff is here. And when I restart my machine, it'll be there. So I'll always be able to get to it by going to the Devices folder or by going to Home OneDrive. And it will auto-sync just like it does in Windows. So you put anything in your OneDrive on this computer, it will be available on the cloud or any other computer and vice versa. So that is all there is to that one. I hope this has been informative. Please like and subscribe if you see fit. Thank you.